Hi everyone, welcome back to The Swamp. Today's project is a painting that uses a squeegee. This is a really fun technique and it's really easy so it's great for beginners. This painting celebrates Pride Month with a fun abstract rendition of the Pride Parade. And the materials you're going to need are a canvas. Mine is an oblong rectangle shape but you can use any size and shape that you like. You're going to need all the colors of the Pride flag in acrylic craft paint, uh, a squeegee, some q-tips, and you're going to need paper towel and some sort of a palette. I'm just going to use a paper plate, but you just need a surface to squeeze some paint out on. Let's get started! So the first step is just to take some paper towel and put it underneath the bottom of your canvas. This doesn't come into play till we squeegee later, but it's handy to have it tucked under there all ready to go. Then you want to take your craft paint and just start making dots. Um, you want to be about three quarters of the way up the canvas. Leave some space at the top for all the confetti later. And just your dots can be all different sizes. It's good if they're all different sizes. It gives it more interest later. I've lined up the bottles of paint along the top of my canvas and that's for two reasons. First off, so they're in the right order. And secondly, also, if I keep the colors sort of in front of their bottle on the canvas, I know that I'm going to make it all the way across and not run out of room. So it's sort of like a spacing guide as well as um, keeping the colors in the right order so that they match the flag. Try to keep your dots separated. It's okay if they run into each other a little bit. And with the darker colors like dark blue and brown and black, you can make the dots a little smaller than the others just because those dark colors are going to take over pretty quickly. So you'll see here the black dots that I'm making are pretty small. And then just take your squeegee, apply pressure so the whole thing's touching, and drag everything right off the bottom edge. This is where your paper towel comes in handy. Um, so clean off your squeegee in between wipes. You don't want to mix colors on the next swipe, so make sure everything from the first swipe is cleaned off. And go again. And same thing, clean your squeegee between wipes. And you can wipe over the same spot more than once. Um, if it's the second swipe though, you can just use a little less pressure. Like you'll see in the center there on top of the green, I've got sort of a purple streak. So I'm just gonna go back over it with a gentle swipe just to clean that up. And there it is, bam! Isn't that cool? So easy. Um, you can leave it like that if you're into it, but I'm gonna add some confetti because pride is a party. So. Get your palette and just squeeze out all the colors. And then I'm just taking a Q-tip and using the edge of it, just make little dots. Make sure you go over the people a little bit. I'm speeding this up because this is, it's so simple and it's repetitive. It, it would take me forever to show you in real time. So, but you get the idea. So just use one end of the Q-tip per color. So when you're done with red, flip it around to the clean end and do orange Then get a fresh Q-tip to do yellow and green and so on. And you can add as much or as little confetti as you like. It's your party, you decide. Try to space things out. And put your confetti down into the crowd on top of a color that you'll be able to see it. And if you don't have Q-tips around the house, that's okay. You can use any tool that's got a blunt end for this technique. Um, for instance, here I'm going to use the back end of a paintbrush. So same thing, you just dip it in the paint and make little dots with it. You can test your tool out on a separate piece of paper before you use it on the canvas. If you're unsure, just to see what it's going to look like before you put it on the final piece. But it's working just as well as the Q-tip. It's basically just a paint transfer device, so anything will work. Whatever you've got around the house. You could also use a pencil. Put paint on the tip and color like you would if you were using the actual pencil. Now don't push too hard with a pencil because it is a point, it could go right through the canvas. So just be very gentle if you are using something that's a little sharper than any than something else. But it can be used and just wiped off in between colors. And if it gets really gunked up, just sharpen it. And then it's back to being a regular pencil. Any tool that you can find around the house is great. So there you have it. Our Pride Parade Abstract Painting. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. If you make this painting, I would love to see it. Please tag me at Swamp Doll Studio on your socials. Thank you for watching.